What's up guys, it's Brandon. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today's video is going to be about how I stopped procrastinating in college. I'll share my daily routine as well as some helpful tips to better manage my time and get stuff done. So if you're interested, stick around and let's get right into it. Ready? <laughs> oh my god! Tip number one is organize schoolwork. If you're a college student, you might realize that all your professors assign different pieces of work at different times at different places. You might have some assignments listed on a teacher's website, a Google document, or even on a separate application. So it's super essential that we have an organized place where all of our schoolwork lies. I highly recommend this app called Notion. It's an all-in-one productivity app that has literally saved my college life. I'm just gonna go over briefly one of the many features Notion has in today's video. If you guys look at the video description down below, there's a link for a free template I use to track all my class assignments. There I can input the assignment name, the due date, distinguish whether it's a quiz or a homework assignment, and what class it's from. This is super essential, as with one look, I can see exactly what's coming up. Having everything listed out has allowed me to rarely miss assignments and boost productivity as I can visualize what I have to do for that exact day, as well as what deadlines I have coming up. Tip number two, creating a daily to-do list. For example, every day one of the first things I do when I wake up is to plan my day. It allows me to see an overview of what I have to do and makes it really difficult to procrastinate or forget about things as I have all my things visually listed out. I list schoolwork, creative work, class times, chores, and even time to work out. This one thing has now become a positive habit that I do without question every morning. For me, there's something about writing things down that not only helps me remember, but also makes sure that I stick to it. Also, quick disclaimer, finishing every single thing on your to-do list every single day can be pretty difficult. If you don't finish, don't worry. Just move on to the next day and try your best to finish it. You got it, I believe in you. Tip number three is building momentum. It can be incredibly daunting to start the day with a five page research paper. Instead, start the day with a small goal. For me, it's a small workout or walking my dogs. To me, it's super important that I build momentum. However, if you do have a five page paper to do that day, break it down. Instead of writing do five page research paper on your to-do list, I would write prep writing space, read prompt, open Google Docs, research sources, draft intro for 30 minutes, etc. Break big to-dos into smaller tasks. It makes everything so, so much easier. Now that you have everything written down and planned your day, it's time to do them. Which brings me to tip number four. Use a time management technique. So if you're anything like me, I get caught up in social media, YouTube, and the countless other things today that are designed to pull you away from your work. One thing that really upped my productivity and allowed me to get quality work done is the Pomodoro Technique. In short, it's a technique used to better manage your time by breaking down working sessions into set segments. How it works is work for 25 minutes with no distractions. That means phone away, web browsers closed, desk clear. 25 minutes of deep work. After you finish a 25 minute work session, reward yourself with a five minute break of whatever you wanna do. Watch one of my YouTube videos, use the restroom, grab a snack, something to clear your mind or relax. At the end of your break, you have finished one Pomodoro. 25 minutes of work and a five minute break. I usually use an app called Tomato Timer, which is both on your computer and on your phone, or a physical electronic timer I found on Amazon. The links for both the app and the Amazon timer will be down in the description below. Anyways, repeat multiple Pomodoros until you have finished all your work. I do have to preface this by saying that this may not work for everyone. If you can work for hours without a break, all power to you. But if you're like me and get easily distracted every couple minutes and procrastinate your work, this may be an amazing method to use. Side note, 
When you first start out, you might realize that although 25 minutes sounds like a short time, you'd be surprised how many times you might be reaching for your phone or a snack when you hit a roadblock in your work. If 25 minutes of work is too long, adjust it to 20 minutes and a five minute break. On the contrary, if you find that 25 minutes of work is too short, try a 30 minute deep work session with a five minute break. Since I've been utilizing the Pomodoro technique for quite some time now, I can hit around 50 minutes of deep work with a 10 minute break. It really all varies. Try this out and let me know what works for you guys. Tip number five is to eliminate distractions. I'm sure you've heard this before, but here's some practical advice that has helped me tremendously. Here's a scenario. Have you ever been doing an assignment on your computer, whether it be writing a paper or reading a PDF, just to click to your Amazon or YouTube tab that you've had open and spend hours shopping or watching videos? Me too. One of the biggest things I've done to help me with this is, are, are you ready? Close all your tabs. That means closing the dozens of tabs you have open and only opening the two to three you actually need for your assignment. For my English class, I only need to open, give or take three tabs. One for the assignment prompt, one to write the assignment in Google Doc, and one to research. After I finish my English homework and move to my Chinese homework, I do the same. I'll close my English homework tabs and start fresh. I'll open GoFormative, a website where my Chinese assignments are, and open Pleco, a Chinese dictionary. Every other tab like Amazon, YouTube, and Google does not need to be open. This method has really helped me as distractions are no longer a simple click away. Another thing I do that really helps when I go into deep work is hiding my phone. It sounds a bit unnecessary, but let me tell you, it is not enough to put it on the side of your desk or in arm's reach. Keep in mind this is for people like me who easily get distracted. The point is to make it as hard as possible to get to your phone. When you have an obstacle in your way, it creates a barrier from potentially getting distracted. So when I have a deep work session, I throw my phone somewhere on my bed and forget about it. The sheer act of getting up, walking to your bed, and looking for your phone is enough for me to get discouraged from getting distracted and going back to work. Honestly, there have been countless times when I've gotten distracted and wanted to go on my phone, but because I made my phone a lot harder to access, it made me go back to work. Try it. The next time you have any work to do, go put your phone in another room. Like, like actually. Put that 25 minute timer on and get some work done. Woo! I believe in you guys. Just to recap my five tips. Number one, organize your schoolwork. Have all your due dates for every assignment, quizzes, and tests in one place. Number two is creating a daily to-do list. Write down all the things you have to do at the start of your day. Include everything from working out, having dinner with family, to doing math assignment number five. Number three, building momentum. Make sure you start your day with completing smaller tasks, such as working out or making your bed. Build momentum so you can take on those bigger assignments like tests or projects. If you do have a big assignment you have to do, break that assignment into smaller assignments. It should be a lot easier to manage once broken down. Number four, use a time management technique like the Pomodoro technique. Remember, 25 minutes of distraction-free work and five minutes to reward yourself. And lastly, number five, eliminate distractions. The two specific ones that work well for me are closing all my unnecessary tabs and hiding my phone. These two in conjunction specifically have worked really well as we all take online classes this semester. That pretty much wraps up this video guys. If you guys have stuck to the end, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed any tips or learned something valuable, feel free to leave a like or comment. Have an awesome rest of your day guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Whoa!